Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some neutral beach decor. And for this first DIY, I have this little frame. I'm just using a tool from Dollar Tree to take out the back and take off this little cardboard thing. <laughs> and then I'm using the same tool to scrape off these letters from inside the glass. And it doesn't look like I'm doing anything there. Okay, now it does. So it took me like about five minutes to scrape this off. And then I cleaned it with some alcohol. I don't know what else you could do to take this off because this is the first time I've done it. But I'm going to do the rest of it off camera. And then I have some of the Dollar Tree wallpaper and I'm just going to measure it. Uh, with the backing and then I'm going to cut it out with some scissors and I had painted this and, and I decided I didn't like it and I decided to use the wallpaper instead so I just stick it down and then I hot glue it back into the frame I gave it another wee clean first And then have these wee starfish from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue one to the front. I thought it was going to fit inside but it didn't so I'm just going to glue it to the front with some hot glue and that's it. I'm just removing any excess hot glue and I just thought this was really cute and simple, quick and easy DIY. This next DIY I have this vase and some of the new nautical rope that I found and I'm only showing two here but I ended up using three of these because I was only going to use one and then I didn't like it so I put two on and I thought oh no. I'm just going to put all of them on so I just hot glue at the bottom then I wrap it around and then I hot glue it at the end and then I just hot glue to the next one on trying to match it up so um, you can notice the join and then I just repeat the same again wrapping it around you could hot glue it all the way around if you want but I might want to use it for something else so I said I could find some more and then I put the third one on and just wrapping it around and then hot gluing it but to make it match with the back at the bottom I had to glue it and then cut a piece off so that both end pieces at the top and the bottom would both be at the back of this I just glue down the end and then I got a lighter and I burned off all the wee hairs. And then I found this little beaded garland with some anchors on it at Dollar Tree. So I decided to put that on the top because it was a space. And I used... I started off with 10 beads I think. Minute. <laughs> 12 beads? Anyway, I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax and then I found this twine that's twine and <laughs> it's got some white in it as well. So I'm just hot glue in the end and then I'm gonna thread the beads on. And these have a big hole in them, which is good. They, they go on easy. And then I just split it in half and then I glued the little anchor on underneath the twine so it covers up the wee holes at the top. And then this is when I realised I had too many beads. <laughs> so I took two off. And then I just tied it twice. 
and then I snipped off the ends and then I decided to put another anchor to fill up this gap on the other side and then I just hot glued the anchors in place. And this is how it turned out. And I really love how it turned out. I love this thing a lot of I'll need to find some more so I can do some more stuff with it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And sorry about this but I forgot to record. But this wee house that I found said it's a, it's a beach thing and I pulled off, there was like a little glittery thing on the top and I tried to pull off the front of it but it didn't all come off. So I'm just taking this little roof part off and just used the tool from Dollar Tree and I was taking off the extra paper. <laughs> And it was stuck in with these little nails, so I tried to pull them out, but they didn't come out. So I ended up just flattening them down. I had a wee tidy up. <laughs> and this is me just flattening them down with the pliers. And then I stick the sticker on. And then I hot glue the little roof part back on and then I take some more of this twine and I just wrapped it around a few times and then I hot glue to the ends on the back and then I really think this wee boat was cute so I decided to stain it with the Waverly Antique Wax and then oh, I took the lighter to the little hairs and then I just hot glued it on but I did it underneath one piece of twine so it covered up the wee holes and then I used one of the starfish and I just hot glued that to the top and I think it turned out really cute I really love the wee boat the wee wooden boat thing and this next DIY I have this wee picture and it doesn't come out so I just used that tool again to take off this C and take off all the extra glue and then using some of the wallpaper, I spent so much time deciding which way I wanted the wallpaper to go that I didn't realise my camera stopped recording. So I stuck it on without the camera recording but that's easy, you know how to do that. And then I also stained this home sign with some Waverly Antique Wax but I didn't realise the camera had stopped rolling. And then I used the last starfish because it's a pack of three and I just stuck that on with some hot glue and I think this turned out really cute. It was so easy and simple to do. I have this wee starfish hook sign and I'm just going to use my wee screwdriver set from Dollar Tree to take the hook off the front and then I peel off this paper. I didn't pull it all off <laughs> and then I just gave it a wee sand and then I'm using some more of that same wallpaper and I decided to cut it a little bit bigger than what I wanted to use so that once after I stuck it on I could use the exacto knife to cut off the excess and make sure it was really straight And then I just used a little Cricut tool to make holes where the screws are supposed to go back in so it wouldn't rip the paper. And then I'm going to use another one of these garlands. And I decided that I wanted to use the bolt and the anchors. 
So I'm gonna put a pot in the middle and anchor each side and then I'm just measuring out how many beads I want. I'd already stained a couple. <laughs> and then I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax. And then I'm just using the same twine and I'm gonna thread on the beads. And then I'm just going to measure out where I want the pieces to go in. But then I realised that there was too many beads. So I took two off. And then I just hot glued the bolt and the anchors underneath the twine to cover up the wee holes. And then I hot glued the ends of the twine on the top of this. And it wasn't sitting how I wanted it to, so I just Took the twine off and repositioned it and then oh yeah I snipped <laughs> I snipped off the ends of the twine and then I have some of the Dollar Tree nautical rope and I'm just hot gluing it around the outside. You could use the white nautical rope for this as well if you like that one better and you can always paint the beads and stuff a different colour but I wanted to keep it all neutral. In my head at first I was going to make them blue and stuff but then I ended up going with a neutral theme because I decided to use the this wallpaper that I've had for ages and I thought I was never going to use it <laughs> but I'm glad that I finally used it today. And then when I get to the end, I just put some painter's tape where I'm going to cut it and then I put some hot glue on the end and then once it's dry, I take the painter's tape off and then I just hot glue it in place. And then I took the lighter to get rid of all the wee hairs. And then I hot glued the anchors and the bolt in place. And I think this turned out so cute. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below and uh, which one of these DIYs was your favourite. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!